morning. It's absolutely a beautiful morning this morning. Uh, thanks to my girlfriend Rebecca, she's bought me a new camera. It's absolute beauty. Should be a lot clearer for use at home. Anyway, the birds are chirping, live birds are singing. Uh, so I'm going to venture in and grab that plot watcher and check the hair trap. I brought the Reconics with me today. So we'll venture off and find a new place to set the gear. Until then, cheers. On the way through, um, I found this uh, tree break which I didn't notice last time I was here. It might have fell down itself though. It seems to be snapped off at about the four foot mark. And it's not far from the tape trap and the camera. There's the tape trap just there. Anyway, we'll keep going. The tape trap looks a bit mucked up. Ah, the recorder's been tampered with. Because it was against that burnt log. Watch is still there. I'll just check this for hairs, so I'll turn the camera off for a while. I've had a good look over the tape, and the only hair I could find, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this, they're, they're real fine. I don't think they're yowie, they're nothing like a human's hair. I say they might be from a possum. There's another bunch there. Just here is. Um, we can't see it, but it's an end of a feather, and that's all we got in the trap. Because we've had so foggy days, the tape's not too sticky. So we'll keep trying this method. Okay. Low battery. That's good we got fresh ones to fill it up. Alright, we've come across this uh, tape trap and the stake's gone. Looks like something's had a tug of war with it. Can't see any hairs in there. Uh, what I'll do, I'll cut that tape off, I'll put it in a bag, I'll take it home and have a better look at it. Could be one hair just, just there, I think. Alright, the gear's all packed up. Uh, it's time to head out of here. Still very early, so we've got plenty of time today. Oh well, today I'm going to walk in even deeper than I've ever been before. I was looking on Google Earth and all these mountains around here are around that 1100 to 1200 metres above sea level. Now it's just too hard to walk over just one, let alone get in over a few. So I'm going to use the waterway as a highway. I think it's the quickest way to penetrate these mountains. And I've got my hands on a pair of waders. So if we do get a bit of rain, I can wait a week or two and I'll be able to still get up here in waders. Anyway, I'm going to spend a couple of hours going up these uh, waterways today and see how far I can get in there. Oh, 
the way in, I've come across this scat. Anyway, I look at it, it's chock a block full of hair. Quite an unusual one. Anyway, I'll put it in the bag and I'll take it home, see if someone wants to look at it. Yeah, we're probably just in on an hour at the moment, so we're in quite deep and uh, might just pull over and sit down and have some lunch. Have a break, beautiful area this. Oh well, I'll pull out the sandwiches. Well, the plot watch is set up on this tree and it's facing up there. Hopefully something comes down. Okay, the hair trap set up. So it's got ham, steak, sausages, sardines, sausage rolls. It's a smorgasbord. So anything that comes past, I shouldn't be able to resist this. Hopefully when we come back there's a hare here. The recorder's set up and it's running. Anyway, I will just cover it. It won't be here for a week or so. Um, put a couple of dead pigeons there. And the Reconix camera's overlooking everything. Anyway, it's getting pretty late so it's time for me to get out of here.